Hey guys, Kristen Leak here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about wireframes. So, as some of you already know, I've been using Adobe XD to do mockups, wireframes, and I also use Sketch sometimes as well. And today I'm just I have my uh, Adobe XD open. I did some wireframes for a client who needs a website redesign and for those who are really interested in freelancing, I highly re recommend that you use wireframes wire as a part of your process because it helps give the client a better idea of the design that they need and want to have for functionality versus things that they would just like to have. So in Adobe XD, I, I only created two different versions of the homepage. So it doesn't give the client too many options, which can be really confusing, especially if they don't know exactly what they want. And also to just play with some ideas, like I include concepts that they're interested in on the left, and then on the right, the, wire, the wireframe B, I did some designs that I personally like and would think is better based upon the content that they already have. So let me walk through and just explain to you what exactly wireframes are and just the parts and pieces that I use for them. So let me move wireframe B out of the way. Okay, zoom in a little bit. So wireframe A, remember this is a home page. So I have the nav bar at the top, nav short for navigation, um, where, you know, home, contact, uh, blog, about, so forth will be at the top. And then I have this box with an X, which represents a picture. And you can download little images where I think it's like a little cloud or something. And that's the standard default image looking thing um, you can use instead of this. And below I have the font. I use the lorem ipsum. Latin and then I just used a a font called what is it? It says block new and I will link in the description box so you can download that. But I, I like it for wireframes. Don't have to worry about what it says, which can distract the client from the layout. And on the left I have I have um like little categories that my client says she wants the categories to go on the sidebar and they will just be little buttons with little images, like just a little graphic. And then another picture or whatever else she would want maybe an ad or something. And then just similar to the categories, just do the most popular pages where the user may want to go there directly. And then the bottom is the footer and it has a site map because her website is quite large and it's just a great way for user experience. So the user can quickly find what they're looking for instead of having to go through the nav bar and click multiple times to get there. So that's for wireframe A. Whoops. Wireframe B is a little bit different. I have, um, all the categories mixed in with the popular content all in one, just clean, simple, and then, you know, just like welcome text and then any other text that she may want for that. And I just chose that for to be cleaner. And you know what actually happened? My client ended up choosing this one, wireframe B, instead of the one that she initially wanted. Where is it? Over here. She decided that she liked this better because of the balance, which I also think is really important, but that's why it's really good to show clients more than one option. Even if you uh, just create something that they want, I mean, they, they have an idea of what's necessary and what they want it to look like, but if you can learn how to maximize and just bring out the best of their ideas, it makes, I don't know, I think that's what's so rewarding is to be able to see what the client wants and not exactly give them exactly what they say they want, but something that is both attractive and has the functionality that they need and 
also solves a problem that they have. Um, so yeah, that's why I like wireframes. I didn't have to build an entire website with this sidebar and then she decided she didn't like it. Instead, I just did these little wireframes and she decided she liked another design better. And actually, I did not say in the beginning, before I did these wireframes, I sketched up um, multiple, multiple different ones just on paper, paper and marker. And then I chose my two favorites and then I uh, spent the time and put it in Adobe XD and then you can export it. So I think next time I'm going to do is show you how to actually do wireframes. It's quite, I personally uh, find it quite easy and intuitive, but um, for those who are interested in learning Adobe XD or Sketch, I haven't decided which one I will do this in. But um, if you if you have a preference, please comment below and I will uh, highly consider your recommendation for what software I should use. But thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.